So, David. Yes. We're in South Florida now. We're in North Middle we're in, Central we're Florida. We're in Central Florida. Central Florida. So, guess who's making this video series possible? Your I'm Paul Dorsey. Amped Outdoors and Battery Company. You could save 5% by using coupon code ALIAS5. And why would you need a battery? Especially on this boat, you want to carry big electronics, right? You can put a lot of stuff on this boat. And motors and all that stuff. But guess mm -hmm. what, guys? We're going to give you a full walkthrough of the Hobie 360. And the reason why I want to do this video because this is a 2023 version of the boat. And they changed a lot of stuff. They made it better, right? It's always, every year it gets better and better. Exactly. Because uh, uh, early on, there was a lot of issues with this drive. And Dave is going to talk to you guys more about it. But you know what? You know more about the boat than I do. So why well, let me you... show you a little bit here. So start here with the front on the Hobie on the 360. You have an uh, oversized bin here. It's like a, you could use it for a fish box. There's a lot of room in there. But you could take it out and clean it when it gets all scales and fish blood and spray it out. Or you, at the beginning of your day, you could throw a bag of ice in there and you have you know some place to put the fish. Also inside here, you have the rod tubes, which are really nice. You have three on each side. So you can carry six uh, rods with you. You have um, right here. You know you could put a sail on this. Yeah, you, you could put right here. This is for a sail. Yeah, right there. You could have sail power, food power. Yeah. You could have a uh, motors and soon a rocket. <laughs> so they put uh, rails on the side. The H rails. Uh, H rails are really nice because there's a lot of accessories that these just clamp on, like. These accessories came with the boat, the, the cup holders, there's some rod holders back there. When you buy this new, they, they include these accessories. You don't have to buy them extra, um, but so, it all comes with the boat. This hatch right here, when you lift this up, it feeds you your tackle lockers. That comes with it too. Wow. You don't have to go out and you don't have to go to Walmart and buy that. It's just all included. So you have two of these ready to go on the inside. There's a pocket right here. You can put like your sunscreen or something small you could put a phone right here if you want to just a place to put your phone the pockets are rubberized so your hooks don't catch in them Ex oh yeah that's right They're... sometimes i put a lure there yeah <laughs> yeah because it's like you said it's not gonna get caught on it uh-huh the seat itself is really neat this is easily removable you tilt this forward and the seat just can come right out real easy nice yeah you can also you can lock it lock it in Back here, it has a lock on it. You can pin it, lock it. But the neat thing is that this seat here has a high and a low position. You can adjust here by pulling this forward. It adjusts this, this part up and down. And this right here, if you pull forward and back, it adjusts the back of it. And wow. the nice thing right here, this wheel, that's lumbar. a lumbar wheel. Lumbar support So too. you can adjust, you can pull it all the way back, tighten it up. And then you can you can tighten this this watch this. Wow. <laughs> Makes it as comfortable as you want to get on there. So many adjustments. Like this this is yeah. like especially if you That's have a backpack. Lock. No, this is the lock for the for the, the seat. What if you want to pull it forward like like that? There you go. Oh under here. Yeah. I wanna comes with this accessory strap. Oh nice. So you could put a tackle box here and um, this is for the fish finder, right? It's ready to go for that it's already ready to go. That, that's the owner's manual and it comes with the parts if you want to put the uh, transducer that drops down. It's protected so if you hit something. Mm -hmm. Don't worry guys, we're going to talk about the drive. We're just going to leave it for later in the video because we you need to watch the whole video. I mean, it's just, you have to. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, so moving back here, is this a hobby thing? Like, it, that this boat came up yeah, like this? Yeah, this boat comes with the paddle. The paddle. And it's just, this is a paddle holder. But the paddle holder is Hobie's also? Yeah, it is. Wow, because I've seen that in other boats before. Not it just comes with a paddle holder, so it's a nice place to keep it out of the way. Because ideally, you're not going to use the paddle. Yeah, no, I... Because this is, you're going to be <laughs> pedal driving. Hey, remember, pedal kayaks are dead. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that's wait. right. That had nothing to do with this video. That's bad. <laughs> and we're not covering a motor car. That's later. But <laughs> it's kind of like a joke, but is it a joke? So here you got a nice hatch. It's to work here on the back, like if you lose a cable or something, mm -hmm. to make rigging easier. And these holes, they do have a purpose. There's copper hole that water comes out, but also you could use their fancy well, uh, live well. If you had a Hobie live well, this this Hobie live well will actually mount in here, and it has a pickup that you would put in there. There's a, a this right here. 
Ooh. and it hooks on the bottom and the pickup will actually go down through the scupper hole and wow. it will draw water into the well circulated and then it has an exit at the other side nice so, so you don't have to prime it or anything you just no it's all, you have to you move forward pedal yeah. forward and it'll it'll actually prime itself but you can have a circulating well so you can keep hard to hard to keep alive baits alive those are amazing yeah. and Bisbee makes a battery for those live well that's gonna last you a lifetime basically and yeah i'm gonna put a link down below for that an affiliate link so looking back here you use you, you also have Flush, not flush, but built-in rod holders. Look at that. And what is this for? To more attachment Just points? Just attachment to tie downs. A whole wee cooler bags, things mm -hmm. like that. Tie down equipment. Now, back here you got a fancy oversight handle. This is very useful. It's an H-bar handle, yeah. It's just amazing because you could put so many things in here, camera mounts and stuff like that, uh, flags, whatever, but also just to carry it. And here, they sell a doctor that you could put a power pole here on the back or you could put a, a motor or whatever you want. And you say, why would you want to put a motor on a $5,700 kayak? I don't know, but some people want to. Yeah. So you want to see this this 360 drive? 100%, but, but we're not done yet. Oh, okay. We're not done yet. Look, look at this. We, you got, what, oh. what do you call this plate? A hobby plate? It's just an accessory plate on the front. It's uh, It's got gear track, gear, gear so track. you can add gear tracks to it, uh, plier holders here, hook hangers. Nice. Or you can mount your own accessories onto it. And these H rails, you could mount a lot of accessories, mm -hmm. not just this, but you could also add others. Yeah. The nice thing on this accessory is you can actually drill into this and you're not drilling into the boat. You can add stuff without putting any holes into the boat itself. And you can replace it. Plate. Yes. Now, this thing, if you look underneath, it has some weird stuff going on, like it has like a, what do you call that thing? That a skeg. A skeg. Drop it. Uh, Drop the skeg. So everything is, is marked. If we have uh, the kickstand, the transducer, here we have a skeg. Did that come down? Boom. That's your skeg. Nice. There's your rudder. So it, it keeps uh, keeps the boat moving in a straight line in the wind. Because it's a huge boat. This thing is almost 14 feet long. Mm -hmm. And it's, what is it, 38 inches wide, something like that, 36, 38? It's, it's wide. But this thing has so many little things. and Like, you could spend three days talking about the little things that this thing has. Like, it has dual rotor control, right? Dual. On each side. And this is for the 360. And I want people to learn about this. So see how it works. Exactly. This 360 drive is, there's an arrow right here. When you're sitting in the boat and you're looking at this arrow and then back here, there's a handle on the top. Look, this, this is the handle. When I turn this handle, watch the arrow so that the arrow will turn. Now, if I'm pedaling right now, this boat is actually gonna move in that direction sideways. The boat's gonna move in the same direction as this arrow is pointing all the time. So I can bring it here. Now, to, to see that, go under the boat here, Jonah, and look, as I move it, look under the boat, watch the drive. You see how the drive moves in every direction? Although if I'm still pedaling forward, watch it move. So it's pulling you in any direction that you want. So this is the only boat you can, you can actually go sideways. Any direction of the compass, this boat will go in. So it's a really neat system. And uh, it just pops right out, just like all the Hobies. But this is on a, a wheel now. So this, this is what moves. There's a drum inside of here that's controlled with this. And uh, yeah, it uh, also comes with the turbos, which are a little bit longer, and, and uh, they kick up. So wow. if you hit something, so it has everything. they kick up. It's got everything. Now, when this came out three years ago, or four, I don't know math anymore, four years ago, uh, there were a lot of warranty claims with that. It, the warranty claims originated from the ball bearings that were inside of the drum here. Can show them? In, inside of here, there's bearings. You can't see it. Everything is sealed now. So you can't even see them or anything, but they've all, they've been addressed. They fixed it. Um, so we haven't had any problem with the newer units at all. I even like this. You know what this is for? See the ridges? To Carry handle. Yeah. Nice. Simple. Everything, everything. So when you grab this, you have a nice handle there. So that it feels like, like a, a weapon. Yeah, it looks like a firearm. <laughs> Hopefully uh, YouTube doesn't demonetize this video because of the look of this thing. I, actually, uh, I, had a th I have a thumbnail of me holding that like a fish. Yeah. And in Ica's 2021, 2019, what am I saying? Wow. So we're in 2023. So for yeah. 2023, they got a new color, right? They got new colors. I must. Oh, well, the, this particular boat, they this is the blue. 
They actually had this last year. They didn't make a new color in the 360. Uh, they have the, bl the blue and the Amazon green, which are still uh, available. And they're popular colors, and they're very unique. Does it come water. in that color? No, this is a new color here that's coming out. You want to see what the new one is? But yes, we're going to... That's the Hobie Outback 2023, and we're going to give you a full walkthrough video on that boat. But we, we're not done here yet. Uh -huh. How many of these do you sell? How many do we sell? Yeah. Um, pretty much as many as we can get. We don't have a lot of them in stock right so now. So they get sold out. And this I is do a sell out, yeah. $5,700 boat. Yes, And it gets are. sold out. Yes. Like, why? Why? Well, when you compare it to... When you compare it to a... a, a what a what a, a new boat these days cost yeah it's, it's it's not as much i mean but you got you know, something here that is a lot less money and it yeah. it's like a boat and it's we're gonna we're gonna give you a, a full walkthrough of that one too because it's kind of fun it looks really nice now let's talk about the 2023 that color is amazing hobie outback okay. uh, jenna you were saying something 